What's up everyone, Darkblade returning with my Gun Guide series for the multiplayer in the Last of Us, where we take a look at the weapons and discuss their pros and cons. In this episode we're going to be taking a look at the last small firearm, the Shorty. The Shorty is pretty much a shotgun in the form of a handgun and deals incredible amounts of damage at close range. Anyway, let's take a look at the stats for this weapon. Firstly, the weapon unlocks after you've gained 375 supplies. It also costs one loadout point in order to use this weapon. Its rate of fire is rated 4 out of 10, its reload speed 3 out of 10, damage 6 out of 10, and accuracy 5 out of 10. The description for the weapon describes it as having a wide spread and the ability to down enemies in two shots close up. The shorty can hold two rounds before having to reload and comes with a starting ammunition count of seven. Additionally, you can equip the shorty with a silencer, meaning that you won't show up on the radar when you fire the weapon. To do this though, it costs an additional two loadout points, meaning you'll spend three loadout points if you do this with the shorty. Now you can upgrade the shorty's stats by upgrading the weapon during matches with parts. If you decide to do this, you will increase the shorty's reload speed, rate of fire, starting ammunition, its accuracy, and you'll decrease its recoil. You won't, however, increase its clip size. The shorty in The Last of Us seems to resemble a custom-made semi-automatic sporting shotgun of some kind that has been turned into a sawn-off shotgun. Anyway, let's move on and talk about the pros and cons for the shorty. Firstly, let's look at the pros. The biggest pro for this weapon, in my opinion, is the amount of damage it can do at close range. Two direct hits to the body will bring down unarmored opponents, and only one shot if you go for the head. Another pro is its rate of fire. Although the weapon only holds two rounds, it's able to pump out both these rounds incredibly quickly. Combine this with the actual amount of damage that each round does means that the shorty is incredibly dangerous at close range. The shorty also has a small chance of hitting multiple opponents if they're close enough together. Also, while aiming with the gun, the reticule will be quite big, making it very easy to aim your gun whilst you're in close range. But this leads us on to the cons. The shorty has two major cons in my opinion. Firstly, is that it is poor at long range. That is why the reticule is so big. If you're trying to hit anything that's quite far away from you, anything from medium to long range, you're gonna have a bad time. You can still potentially hit people at long range, but because the gun spreads out its damage, it means that the damage at hitting someone in long range is gonna be quite weak. The second biggest con in my opinion as well is the clip size. Because the shorty can only hold two rounds before having to reload, it means that it's risky if you're facing more than one opponent. The survival skill pistol auto zoom is useful for the shorty, but not as useful when compared to the 9mm and revolver. Anyway, let's recap on the pros and cons for the shorty. Firstly, it does high amounts of damage at close range. It has a good rate of fire. Unfortunately, it only holds two rounds, and it's very weak at long-range combat. Overall, the Shorty is the best possible close-quarters combat sidearm you can get in the multiplayer. And whereas it may only hold two rounds and suck at long range, it's incredibly strong bullet damage at close range more than makes up for its shortfalls. And that is why the Shorty gets a 6 out of 10. The Shorty is a weapon that is designed to be used at close ranges, and it more than excels at this. Combining this weapon with a large firearm that specialises at long range combat makes a powerful loadout. Anyway, I've been Dartplay bringing you my Shorty Gun Guide for The Last of Us Multiplayer. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.